Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Abdullah Mukmin, and today I'm going to present a research title: Calibration and Validation of Hydrological Model Using Head HMS for Quantum Nebu Basin. The author is Dr. Nur Rasman bin Otman, Dr. Nusraya bin Tiromali, and Dr. Sh and Puan Sharu Rohaziawati Samad, and myself, Abdullah Mukmin bin Ahmad. Number one is introduction. Assessment of impact on water resources in river basin requires a proper estimation of availability of water and that can only be achieved by hydrological modeling of the basin. However, hydrological modeling is a complex test and hydrologic model should be well calibrated to increase user confidence in its predictive ability which make the application of the model effective. The study aims to calibrate and validate the rainfall runoff transformation model for Bukit Kanal Station in Kuantan River Basin using HMS. For the loss rate, SCS curve number method was selected, while Clark unit hydrograph was used for the transform method. The model calibration and validation efficiency were verified using the Nash Sutcliffe model efficiency, or ME, as a result. The model calibration and validation were found to be satisfactory with ME between 0.5 to 0.8. The model can be used to forecast the river flow and helps in flood mitigation works to reduce the impacts along with the cost used. Besides, the results obtained from the study can be used as a guideline for future flood risk assessment work in the study area. After that is the methodologies. 2.1 Description of the study area. The study area are only included the upper part sub basin from Bukit Canal Station. The sub basin covers an area of 423 km square and lands about 18.6 km. The location starts from Cherah Dam to downstream in Bukit Canal Stream Flow, as shown in Figure 1. 2.2 HMS model setup. The HMS software were used for the model setup of the hydrological analysis. Table 1 shows the rainfall and streamflow station adopted in the study, while in Table 2, the element parameter and method applied in H HMS setup is presented. The only station uh, in Bukit Canal has been used for the study. Meanwhile, the SCS curve number had been applied for loss method, while cloud unit hydrograph and constant monthly had been used for transform and base flow method respectively. Next is 2.3 Model Calibration and Validation. Calibration is the process to reduce the difference between the observed and simulated hydrograph. The parameters was adjusted until the observed and simulated hydrograph are almost fitted well. The parameters depends on the transform method that has been selected, while validation is the process that carry out the test for robustness of the calibrated model in order to validate Statistical tests of error function should be carried on. Each calibrated model should be validated before it, it is proposed for use. The model parameter obtained will be used to validate it by using different sets of events. The simulated hydrograph is compared with the observed hydrograph. The validation of model is depend on the result of the error function where if the error function is small, the model is validated. In this study, the Nash Sutcliffe model efficiency coefficient is applied for the verification of both calibration and validation model and is used in the equation number one. That is result and discussion. 3.1 Model Validation and Calibration The HMS was calibrated using rainfall and flow data of Bukit Canal Gorging Station from the 12th October 2013 event while the validation process used the event of 4th September 2010. 20 March 2011 and 12 November 2012. 2011, the adjusted model parameter values of for the model calibration and validation process is shown in the table 3. On the other hand, table 4 presents the result of the model efficiency ME for the calibrated and validated model. The comparison between simulated and observed models shows a difference of 7% for the calibrated model, while the validation model resulted a difference of 0 0.8, 1.1, and 9.3% for 4 September 2010, 20 March 2011, and 12 November 2011 events, respectively. The performance of the calibrated and validated model is 
This factory at the ME is 0 0.85 and 0 0.76, 0 0.83 and 0 0.81 respectively. That is model calibration and validation 3.1. The result of calibrated hydrograph are presented in figure 2, while figure 3, figure 4 and figure 5 are the result of calibrated hydrograph. Comparison was made with the observed hydrograph and outstanding result was obtained with the from figure 2, it can be seen that simulated pit flow for the calibration event is 92.7 m3 per second, which is close to the observed peak flow of 99.8 m3 per second. A similar trend of result is observed in figure 3, where the simulated peak flow for the 4th September 2011 simulation event is 60.1 m3 per second, which is adjacent to the observed peak flow of 60.6 m3 per second. For validation event 20th March 2011 in Figure 4, the simulated peak flow is 81.2 m3 per second compared to 81.2 m3 observed peak flow. While for the 12th November 2011 events, the simulated peak flow is 84.4 m3 per second compared to 93.1 m3 per second observed peak flow in Figure 5. Finally, the conclusion, a collaborated and valid validated hydrological model for quantitative basin was established using HMS. The calibration result shows an acceptable model, ME, of 0 0.85, which is, is in agreement with the observed data, while the ME of 0 0.776, 0 0.83, and 0 0.81 are satisfactorily validated with HMS model. Hence, the hydrologic model can be used for the future flood risk assessment work of the study area. Information is appropriate as the input for the hydrologic modeling and mapping.